Hello guys, welcome to JL Motorsport. Today we are talking about uh, HPI ignitions. So, people are asking to do some video about how to fit this racing ignition. This is pretty simple, but sometimes people just uh, have some problems fitting it. And I will try to show you guys how to fit it in an easy way you just need a simple tool like this one where you can spin the crank and see what position is the piston and that's it or, or a simple micrometer will do the job so yeah and you need to have a uh, the papers from the ignition in this particular one we have this curve so basically in this one in this engine particular engine it's a 100 cc i want to aim at 30 degrees at maximum advance so here as you can see if i fit it in uh, 15 degrees on a zero position, zero RPM, I will get uh, 25 degrees at the maximum angle. So, what I what I want to do is have five degrees advance, so I can get uh, 30 degrees at the maximum peak. So, in this one, if the crank spins to the left as it shows here this is this this case of this engine so I will have to look to this mark these two marks this one it's in the flywheel it should be right here and the other mark it's this one on the stator should be that one that one there So basically, we just find the top dead center that should be right there. And we try to align these marks here, these two marks. Should be one in the flywheel and one in the stator. So, basically, if you see carefully, there is a, a, a graduated scale in the, into the stator here. There is like a five, about 50 degrees play. So, you need to align these two first with the piston in the top dead center and I'm, as, you, as you can see, I have already marked here where I want to get the 30 degrees in, by using this scale. So, if you see, I have aligned these two marks and this mark that I marked here in the flywheel as 20 degrees It's aligning uh, with the first scale into the plate, stator plate. So I will turn it to 20 degrees because it's uh, the advance I want to have. If I have 20 degrees at zero RPM, it means I will have uh, 30 degrees in the maximum advance so it makes any sense to you if I fitted it within 15 degrees it will be 5, 10 5, 10 15 it should be here 15 
it will it will be the same map as this one but I want to have 30 degrees so I will have to get 5 10 15 20 right here and I just need to bolt it up the knot exactly in that spot so I could get 30 degrees advance it depends on the engine sometimes you want to have uh, like 25 depends on the engine you are turning so this one I will I will use uh, 30 degrees to get the maximum output of this one so should be good to go basic we just, just need to tighten it up the flywheel now that the marks are aligned very aligned just make sure the flywheel is fixed that's it the flywheel is already tightened up so we're gonna check again we just need to align this one to 20 degrees should be 5, 10, 15, 20 and when it's in 20 you should get into top dead center so you could get what you want as you can see As you can see right here, it's not uh, in 20, it's like uh, 23 as we turn it up, there is no problem. You can do, I just left uh, a bit of play here so I could adjust later, forwards or backwards as, as I want to do. So. Basically, now you're gonna align the stator to the 20 degrees and you should go to go, like this. That's it. So, any questions, just feel free to, to comment and I will have, uh, I will make sure you I replied to your, all your comments and cool stuff. If you like this video, just thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.